All right, so <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Snatch and Scotch. I'm your host, Sylvie Bona, with my uh, man here, George. Uh, and we're here with Maddie Rogers in Pittsburgh. Um, we're brought to you by Sodorex Magazine. And we're hanging out with this great girl. Uh, if you've never heard of her, uh, she is a regular girl who likes fitness and <laughs> was a badass cheerleader <laughs> who then started lifting weights and then having fun with CrossFit. And all of a sudden, she's a weightlifter and she's seems to be pretty good at weightlifting. Um, and it's a pretty cool story because, you know, both George and I have daughters, and we talk about our kids all the time, like lose their parents. Um, but... <laughs> yes, yeah, so like lose their parents, that's yeah, right. Yeah, we lose their parents. You want to see a picture of my kids? No. <laughs> so, but, but we, we always, like, like, how do we get our daughters to be, like, strong, confident women and just be badass, like, weightlifters? Because my, my daughter's five years old, and she clean and jerks 15 pound barbells. Aww. I love it. Um, so what, what motivates you? What, what kind of, how did you start? So that's kind of a hard question. I mean, I was a gymnast for 12 years before cheerleading. So I kind of switched like right away from gymnastics to cheerleading. And then my coach introduced me to CrossFit. Oh, and then cool. through CrossFit, I just kind of found my way to weightlifting. I was like, oh, I don't have to die every time I do a workout. <laughs> I kind of like this a little bit better. <laughs> so I don't know. I've, like since I've always been in sports, I've always been competitive and like motivated. So nice. it kind of came easy for weightlifting. So you are you like intrinsically motivated? Is that what drives you? Or, or yeah, I think yeah. I mean it's a little bit of both. Yeah. So I don't know. It depends on on the situation. So if you it's Monday morning, you got to go wake up and train. What makes you What makes you do it? Well, Monday mornings are squats always, and I <laughs> <laughs> I told my coach like a year ago because I used to struggle with cleans really bad. I was like, I never ever want to get pinned under a clean ever again. So mm -hmm. we just squats every day twice a day like wow. <laughs> all the time so that's monday morning motivation right there i don't want to yeah. ever get stuck with the clean ever again cool that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> so you uh you came here because you're doing a photo shoot with reband yes cool and how'd that happen um well camille leblanc actually reached okay. out to me and hooked me up with her agent who put all this together for oh, me wow. and it's kind of been like all right, so these people are interested, these people are interested, you're gonna go here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, fine. It's like, uh, okay. You got yeah. fire string and That's right. put you here. Well, well you just going. got in from, from LA, right? Yeah. So you're gonna yes, go to right. shoot there and. <sighs> yeah. Man, that's crazy. So you're, you're 20 years old and you're doing all these things. Like, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. How do you manage that with like, are you in school right now? No, I'm taking this semester off actually. Okay. So it's a lot easier, but I mean, I never had all these opportunities in the past. So. Yeah. It's all kind of new, and I'm just kind of going with whatever happens. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, so, is it a little is it a little scary to kind of do what you're doing right now at 20 years old, like traveling across the country? Uh, this is your first photo shoot, right? This is my second oh, in second. like three days. <laughs> oh god! So you never had a photo shoot until just now? Not this like week. a real official one. Like they have hair and makeup here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> Well, you never know. <laughs> Wait, and this is also your first podcast, right? Yes, my first podcast ever. Uh, see, it's not that bad. No, it's not too bad. No, we just have a conversation talk about stuff. It's a little scary. Really? No. <laughs> Come on. Come We're on. like in a private room just hanging up. Uh, <laughs> so, so with weightlifting, um, I, I feel like I'm a little jealous because you definitely cheated in life um, going from gymnastics to CrossFit to weightlifting. Like that's just not even fair. Yeah, I cheated a little <laughs> Like going, and how much, how 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 big of a um, of a benefit is gymnastics and cheer? Because cheerleading, people people don't know what cheerleading is. My wife is actually thinking of getting my daughter to cheer, and the stuff these girls do is insane. It's hard. Like it's no joke, man. Yeah. So like that's like how did that kind of help you out with the whole transition to CrossFit weightlifting? Well, when I started gymnastics, I was like one and a half two, so that's like learning well, basic coordination and stuff like super fast like learning to like walk on your hands at the same time you're learning to walk on your feet so wow. i think any like little little kid should start with gymnastics even if it's not for weightlifting for any sport because yeah. it just helps your overall body awareness mm -hmm. your strength everything yeah. and then gymnastics is a little bit more intense than cheerleading mm -hmm. like they focus more on technique and if you don't do this you can't move on to this so like cheerleading is more kind of like you have to be able to do it, but it doesn't have to be like perfect like gymnastics. And I think that's what makes me so like, mm -hmm. such a perfectionist in weightlifting. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. So uh, how long have you actually been lifting, like competitively? Um, 
My first national meet was last January, so January 2014. Okay. So I almost two years. Yeah, December will be like when I like two years from when I started focusing on weightlifting. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. In two years, so in two years, I'm learning, still learning how to stash properly. That's great. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't even squat when you started. So that's, that's also true. That's, that's probably true. why. But did you do gymnastics? Yeah, no. See. <laughs> fine, fine. Point taken. I'd love to see you do gymnastics. <laughs> but you actually, you know, we had an interview with uh, uh, David Durante, and he was saying, uh, "Hey, George could pick up gymnastics. It's never too late." He goes, "You're not going to be a, a national level at gymnastics. Excuse me. We, yeah. We're probably not going to be out doing iron crosses at, at 230 pounds, but that's okay. It's fine. Some flips, some cartwheels." Yeah, how about some rolls? I can do some rolls. How's, that, that's Roll down the hill. Uh, so, do you do anything else besides weightlifting? Um, do you still CrossFit at all? Um, usually, if I do CrossFit, it's because I got like dared into it or lost yeah. a bit. So, not really. No, like I like to practice some of the gymnastics stuff just because it's fun. It's what yeah. I've always done. But for the most part, it's just weightlifting. Cool. That's that's plenty for my body right now. Oh man, like I, honestly, like. If you've never actually been on a weightlifting program and, and or worked with a coach or, or done weightlifting, like weightlifting is crazy. Like the hardest part about it is just like mentally trying to pick up the bar when you feel like when your body feels like shit. And I'm yeah. like, why am I doing this? It, it's it's brutal. Like I can't I can't explain it. Like it's, it's fun, worst. but people see weightlifters like like yourself and you know your hooker uh, hooker videos and all, all that cool stuff. Um. And, and it, it looks very glamorous and it looks really like sexy, you know, oh, I can lift a big weight on my head. There's nothing sexy and glamorous yeah. about weightlifting training. Not at all. It's a grind. So <laughs> relative to all the other training that you've done, so your gymnastics training and even your cheer training, how does weightlifting training, so as he's talking about it being challenging, like how do you find it relative to those others? Um, it's a lot more intense on my body like gymnastics I'd be sore but then the next day I'd be okay and we're training six days a week four to five hours a day yeah but I never like wake up and just be like I don't want to move I my can't knees move. hurt my hips hurt like weightlifting is way more intense on my joints and I don't know if because I'm older or what but it's it's rough you just say because you're older you're 20 I'm years older old than 20. when I was in gymnastics <laughs> uh, oh goodness now I feel old thanks <laughs> Yeah, but actually we were talking to Derek earlier on uh, after the podcast and he was saying that like his big thing now is just constantly communicating with his own body. So in training he'll, he'll have a 20 minute kind of like warm up session, also because he's 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, he has a 20 minute warm up session but it's all muscle activation and that's something that's really missing I think in CrossFit and in sports in general and I, I think that with weightlifting becoming bigger and, and, and bigger in North America uh, and working alongside you know professors and, and clinician uh, and, uh, and chiropractors we're learning a lot about like hey your body feels this way but let's kind of see what we can activate so it doesn't feel that bad let's let's, let's speed up that recovery let's let's feel better do you do any of that stuff I actually just started like a stretching program it's called Ramwad that that shit is blowing up what is, I, what is it? I've seen Ramwad? it everywhere I okay. literally just yeah. started it in or LA. Or Rome, 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 it's Rome. range of motion. Range oh, of yeah. motion? Okay. What? And it's like 20 minutes a day, and you, it like forces you to just sit in the How stretch. How do you like it? I've only done three days so far, but yeah. I like it because like, I'll stretch and I'm just like, mm, mm, done. Yeah. This like forces you to like sit and die, and it hurts really bad, but then you stand up and you're like, ooh, like I don't, awesome. I don't feel like I'm dying anymore. Yeah. So, because so, George, when he gets into the gym, so you're going to work out today, bro. Yeah, uh, and I right. my old man twist. And, then he's, <laughs> and I load up the and bar. He's just literally just lifting. I'm like, what the hell? George, you're 30 something years. I don't mean, hold you right now. 36. Yeah, see, you can't be doing stuff like that, man. You gotta take care of yourself. That's okay. I, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, but no, so the, the Ramwad, uh, one of our friends from Canada, Andali, she posted it up, and I was really interested. I think it's like, it's not even bad. It's like you get a video every day, mm -hmm. and it's for whatever kind of specific thing you're looking for, right? If it's more um, yeah. uh, flexibility or more. Uh, muscle activation stuff like they have specific areas yeah well I'm still like figuring it out but yeah. I know like every day there's like an assigned one but if you want to do that plus something else for say your quads are tight that day you can yeah. go and select like quads I have 20 30 40 minutes whatever and cool. it'll like make a video for you and is it do they have an app for that or is it just something like on, on a computer because I know it's on the website right 
Yeah, I don't think there's an app, but I could be totally wrong. That's cool. Well, if you're watching this and uh, you're working with Romwad, uh, make sure you hook her up. <laughs> shameless plug, shameless plug. Well, we're, no, if it's a good product, it's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, look her up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, what else do you do? Like, I mean, um, besides weightlifting, what do you like to do? What do you What do you do? Uh, do you have free time? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no. Um, well, I coach uh, CrossFit at my gym in the mornings. Okay. Um, so it's pretty much like coach, train, like do like work for my gym. I'm kind of like their assistant, mm -hmm. train. And then I also run a youth program at a nearby gym. Oh, cool. So that's I have awesome. a bunch of little, little cute kids that. Nice. Work, so that's do you like cool. doing that, working with kids? I love it. I used to coach um, like toddler gymnastics too. So I just always liked working with kids. That's awesome. Teaching them that's sweet. That's great. fun like things. The basics. So you do gymnastics with the kids? No, I used to. That was at back when I was in cheerleading. I coached okay. gymnastics, and then once. I moved on from cheerleading. I kind of like felt like I needed to coach little nuggets again. Yeah. So I started the weightlifting youth program. And what, what age kids are you dealing with for that? I think my youngest is eight and my oldest is like 16, 17. Nice. Hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. It's fun. That is fun. What, what gym is that? Where, where is that? Um, it's CrossFit EW and it's in Sanford, Florida. So okay. like 30, 40 minutes from Orlando. Nice. That's awesome. So, favorite TV show? I don't even watch TV. No? No. Really? I watch Netflix if I have time, because then I can like stop it. I don't have to like... I don't watch TV at all. No. I watch Just TV Netflix. Time, bro. I, turn I know. On, turn on the TV, it's... This guy, it's, it's, it's a quite noise in your house. It is. It's real. Like, I come home. I refuse to watch the news because like, it's too depressing for me. And, yeah. and honestly, Netflix is my go-to name. I find a good show on Netflix, like I was into Supernatural. And that, that show went on forever. It was actually pretty good. Got into that, so it's good. Leverage? What's that? Leverage. What leverage? No. No. Never mind, it's a show. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool, so what are you doing after this? You're gonna fly back tomorrow? Yeah, I leave at like 5 a.m. tomorrow. 5 a.m.? What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So for the record, it's like, what, 12 o'clock now? Mm -hmm. So you just landed at like 11, 12. Yeah. And you're flying out tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Yes. So for anyone who thinks that competing as an athlete and traveling around the world is glamorous, she landed. She <laughs> just landed and came from L.A. and is flying back out again tomorrow morning. Like, it's ridiculous. Like 18 yeah. hours. How do, you, how do you do that? How, what do you do to, like, recover? Like, it, does your body get, feel pretty beat up? Like, sitting, traveling, uh, time zone changes, you know, eating uh -huh. shitty food on planes? And do you eat shitty food on planes? No. I'm really good about like packing little snacks so at least like if I'm just hungry on the plane I'll have like jerky or almonds or a protein shake and then I could usually find like something healthy in the airport but sweet awesome so what's next for you um senior worlds in senior November. worlds mm -hmm. yeah you're gonna go and kill it there I hope so I'm excited <laughs> do it <laughs> There's nothing wrong with saying yes, by the way. Yes, she's going to yes, get killed. Yes, yes. All right. <laughs> she's going to own the world in Texas. <laughs> That's awesome. So all the best at Worlds. Um, Thank you. Hope you just kill it. Can't wait to see another really cool hookup video. Yay. That's right. Uh, and what's your Instagram? Maddie Cakes with five S's. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie Cakes with five S's. Five S's. <laughs> so hit her up on Instagram. Uh, do you have like a Facebook thing or? Uh, or I like, made an athlete page on. Facebook. You have an athlete page? Yes. There you go, Maddie's athlete page. Hit her up on Facebook, uh, and you know, cheer her on. Cool. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out the episodes at sweaterxmag.com, um, or hit us up on YouTube, uh, Satch and Scotch on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Uh, we're pretty good at answering people, generally. Right? Um, and, you know, check out Maddie for upcoming events. And if you see her, say hi. Yeah. She's, she's, she's not as shy as she looks. That's Bye. Right. See well, you. <laughs> Peace.